Hello! <laughs> it's been a long time. Although, not for you, because I've been actually on videos on Mondays and Thursdays, but it's been a long time since I picked up camera and actually shot anything. The last thing I did was the trip over to Mould when I joined the ship, so I am hopefully vlogging today and I'm just gonna pop off, go ashore and explore a little bit of Oslo. I'm not gonna get very far because I don't have that long. We've been in these places before on the cruise so far but just because I've been setting up and getting used to the job again haven't had a chance to look around so yeah we'll take a look around Oslo today. It's going very well for those that are wondering. Settled in very easily and it's like that expression isn't it? It's like riding a bike. It was just as soon as I got on board the ship felt really comfortable, really natural and yeah I'm just doing the job the same way I was two years ago which is great because I was worried as to whether I wouldn't be as confident with it or I wouldn't know what to do in certain situations but it's going very well. Thank you so much for all of your support and I've been trying to reply to comments on the YouTube channel but it's a little bit difficult um, just because I, I get 3G in certain places and then I use that 3G to hotspot my laptop and then I try and do the comments on there. But uh, So it is a little bit tricky but Helen has been doing fantastic work um, keeping up to date with all of the comments and uh, I miss her. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's hard, but absence makes the heart grow fonder. And it's always weird when I pick up a camera and she's not next to me. But yeah, let's go and explore. We're in Norway, Oslo. So we've got this castle thing here. I don't know what this is. I'll try and have a look. Also in a lot of these places, like uh, Denmark, Helsinki, and here in Oslo, they've got these hop on, hop off buses. If my voice sounds a little weird, it's because I do a lot of talking <laughs> on board. So like hosting events, game shows, trivias, uh, I socialize a lot. And there's a lot of live music as well. So there's a lot of talking over the live music. So that's why my voice might sound a bit more husky. So here's the lines, making sure that the ship doesn't move anywhere. Follow the lines. And there. She is. That's my home. So the weather yesterday for our sea day, which is where we don't stop anywhere, we're just at sea all day, hence the sea day, <laughs> was pretty bad. It was just raining constantly. Um, but today, the sun has come out a bit. It's actually quite warm. I mean, it's a bit cold when there's a breeze, but when the sun shines on you, it's quite nice. So if I go this way, the old city, and there's Carl Johann's Gate. So we've got this weird pattern on the floor here, and this sign that says, shall we dance? And apparently, you can play your own music here. Connect via Wi-Fi, shall we dance? Should we give it a go? Sorry guys, that was a fail. No dear Amazon lady there. Oh, that would have been so good. I can find a way up here. So I can go over there. Great. I'm lost again. Ooh, there was a lovely echo there when I walked through. So this is what we see from the ship, Arkashush Castle. That's probably not how you say it. Norway's Resistance Museum. So this castle was completed around 1300 and then the king and feudal overlord, King Christian IV, remodeled the medieval castle to a Renaissance palace. And that was in the 1600s. That was a very confusing sign because I went through there that it was just a cafe. So I think this is just all a resistance museum. I don't know, I'm just making it up. So 
we're up the top here at the castle. And there's the ship. So, great place to defend yourself, isn't it? See if anything's coming on the waterfront. Got some replica cannons over there. So I'm on my way out. This cobbled path is very steep. <laughs> it won't come across on the camera. But I'm worried. So you might be thinking, that's a llama. You're right. So on each of the Morella ships, there's a different animal. And it's just a talking point. And on ours, there's llamas. So there's one there, there's one on the other side. And then there's a the one that we move around and people can have photos with it. It's all about the llamas. So we're up close with the cannon now. This one, let's see what, oh no, it's aiming right at the front. Well, actually that's not the front of the ship, that's the uh, stern. It might just miss it if we set it off, but I think we'll leave it. I've been re-watching Blackadder recently and the whole cannon thing just reminds me of uh, two scenes in the first series when he's trying to get rid of the uh, Scotsman and then in the third series where he challenges the Duke of Wellington or the Duke of Wellington challenges Prince George to a duel and then they turn up and Blackadder thinks there's going to be guns but they're actually using cannons and then he starts reading the user manual for the cannonet. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't have to walk very far and there was something to have a look around. And like I was saying, I don't have long, so what I'm actually going to do now is going to go meet up with uh, our cruise director, who's a guy called Gavin, uh, who I've known for many years. I'm going to go and have a drink. And Wi-Fi, because that's what we do when we get off. <laughs> Coffee and Wi-Fi. Wherever there's good Wi-Fi, you'll find the crew. So he said, look out for a building with a clock on it. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh wow, can you? I was looking at this wall and I saw all the things that were coming out of it. I thought you could climb it, but I don't think that's what it is. Oh, so this is actually a memorial. Facts about the tragedy. Passenger vessel Scandinavian Star was set on fire during the night of April 7th, 1990. This is a memorial over those 159 people who died in the disaster. That's awful. I mean, that's it's quite scary, really. Um, very sad, that. Oh, I can see the building with the clock. Okay, so I'm back on board now. Time to get back to work. Sorry I didn't vlog sort of the latter part of uh, the time I had ashore. It's because I met up with Gavin and I don't want to I don't want to vlog people that aren't comfortable with it or I don't want to spring it on them. So we just went for a coffee in this uh, place called Espresso House and then we've just headed back. So I now need to get out of my comfy clothes into my chinos and check shirt and put my badge on, start the day. So thanks so much for joining me for this video. Sorry if it's been really short, but I am working, uh, so I just, whenever I can, I will attempt to pick up the camera and document just a little bit of my time on board. Uh, Helena's going to be coming out very soon, so when Helena's on board, Helena will be able to vlog a bit more and, and we'll see a bit more as well of the places that we're visiting. So I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye!